Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Abba Kondal, Epidemiology Assistant at the International Diabetes Federation. The main focus of my presentation is to discuss the key findings of the IDF Diabetes Atlas 9th edition. Diabetes is a serious threat to global health that affects all age groups, regardless of geography or income. The idea of Diabetes Atlas presents a global picture of diabetes, including national and regional estimates on diabetes prevalence, an overview of the impact of diabetes complications based on current literature, and information on proven and effective actions that can be taken to reverse the trend. The idea of Diabetes Atlas was first published in 2000, and on 14 November 2019, IDF launched its ninth edition. Atlas resources include a print and digital book, advocacy guide, regional and global fact sheets, scientific articles and posters, and a website and data portal. All these resources are available at www.diabetesatlas.org. IDF Diabetes Atlas uses age stratified data and systematic methods to estimate the diabetes prevalence among people aged 20 to 79 years. For the ninth edition, 255 data sources, mainly peer-reviewed published studies from 138 countries were used to calculate the numbers. Data sources are from countries that account for over 93% of the global population. For countries where data sources were not available, prevalence was extrapolated based on data sources from similar countries. In 2019, IDF estimates that one in 11 adults are living with diabetes. One in two adults with diabetes are undiagnosed. Over three in four people with diabetes live in low and middle income countries. 10% of global health expenditure is spent on diabetes. One in 13 adults have impaired glucose tolerance. Further, one in five people with diabetes are above 65 years old. Over a million children and adolescents have type 1 diabetes, and one in six live births are affected by hyperglycemia in pregnancy. The number of adults living with diabetes has almost tripled over the past 20 years. This confirms diabetes as one of the fastest growing health challenges of the 21st century. Today, we estimate that 9.3% of adults aged 20 to 79 years, a staggering 463 million people are living with diabetes. A decade ago, the global projection for diabetes in 2025 was 438 million. With over five years still to go, that prediction has already been surpassed by 25 million. If current trends continue, IDF estimates that there will be 578 million adults with diabetes by 2030 and 700 million by 2045. Diabetes prevalence is expected to increase globally, but the largest increases will occur in economies transitioning from low to middle income status. The rising prevalence of diabetes worldwide is driven by a complex interplay of socioeconomic, demographic, environmental, and genetic factors. It is largely the result of an upsurge in type 2 diabetes and related risk factors, which include rising levels of obesity, unhealthy diets, and widespread physical inactivity. However, levels of childhood onset type 1 diabetes are also on the rise. In terms of the regional comparison, the prevalence of diabetes is increasing across all IDF regions. The idea of Middle East and North Africa region has the highest prevalence of adults living with diabetes in 2019, with one in eight adults aged 20 to 79 years affected. The IDF Africa region has the lowest prevalence, one in 20 adults living with diabetes, which can be partially attributed to lower levels of urbanization, undernutrition, and lower levels of overweight and obesity. However, Africa is expected to register the sharpest increase in prevalence over the next 25 years, with the number of adults with diabetes predicted to more than double. Diabetes has an impact across generations. 
women with hyperglycemia detected during pregnancy are at greater risk of adverse pregnancy outcomes and of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. Their children also have a higher lifetime risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes. In 2019, IDF estimates that 20.4 million live births had some form of hyperglycemia in pregnancy. In the IDF's Southeast Asia region, as many as one in four pregnant women are affected. IDF also estimates that prevalence of hyperglycemia in pregnancy increases rapidly with age, with the highest prevalence in 45 to 49 year old women. This map shows where the amount of newly diagnosed children with type 1 diabetes is growing fastest. The number is highest in Finland, followed by Sweden, Kuwait, Norway, and Saudi Arabia. Apart from this, India, United States, and Brazil have the largest number of children and adolescents with prevalent and incident type 1 diabetes. In terms of mortality, IDF estimates that diabetes will be responsible for 4.2 million deaths in 2019. Half of these deaths will occur in adults under the age of 60. The number is highest in Africa, where more than two in three diabetes-related deaths are premature. Inequalities in access to quality healthcare persist, particularly in low- and middle-income countries. As a result, diabetes is often undiagnosed, misdiagnosed, or inadequately treated, leading to complications and early death. Diabetes and its complications impact harshly on the economies of nations and on the finances of individuals and families. In 2019, IDF estimates the annual global health expenditure on diabetes at 760 billion US dollar. The number has doubled in 10 years. The costs are projected to reach 845 billion US dollar by 2045. In addition, indirect costs related to premature death, disability, and other health complications resulting from diabetes are also associated with a negative economic impact and these indirect costs of diabetes add an additional 35% to the annual global health expenditure associated with the condition. The IDF Diabetes Atlas is published as a resource for those who have to make decisions about diabetes care and prevention and for those who seek to influence such decisions. It is intended to be used in support of continued and enhanced action to improve the lives of people with diabetes and those at risk of developing the condition. Visit www.diabetesatlas.org to learn more about the impact of diabetes and what can be done to reduce it. Thank you for your attention.